Hi, this is Yuxiang Shi from ABB Corporate Research Center at Raleigh. This project is BP5 Task 4.2 to develop a high efficiency, high power density, gain based single stage 48 to 1 volt point of load converter or voltage regulation module with wide input and output voltage range. In this project, ABB teamed up with CPAS, Virginia Tech, to take the advantage of their Sigma technology and their vast experiences in point load converter research. ABB is a pioneering technology leader in power and automation industry, with over 130 years history and operation in over 100 countries. In 2018, ABB had acquired the G Industry Solution, which brought the new embedded power product group into ABB's portfolio. The embedded power product group provides various of DC power systems for critical power application, as well as front-end AC to DC power supplies. The point of load converter is among its main product lines, and in this project, we are trying to address the new emerging 48 to 1 volt PLL market. The objective of this project is to develop an efficient gain based single stage PLL converter with direct 48 volts to 1 to 2 volts conversion and 300 amp output current for CPU load. Compared to the equivalent two stage solution today, the PLL under development will occupy less than half of the board space while maintaining similar or higher efficiency. The expected outcome of this project would be a hardware demo of the PLL converter that has wide input and output voltage range as well as a fast transient response. Some key specifications are the maximum power density above 1 kW per cubic inch, the peak efficiency above 95%, and the transient response complying with Intel VR13 requirement. To achieve these goals, we need a very efficient single-stage converter, having fast transient response. After evaluating different topologies, the Sigma converter from CPAS was selected. The figure in the left sketches a multi-phase Sigma converter. Inside the Sigma, an ARC converter and a buck converter are in input series output parallel configuration. So the power is shared between the ARC and the buck and is processed only once. In a wide operation range, the ARC is designed to operate as a DC transformer at the resonant frequency and delivers the major power, while the low power buck converter will regulate the output voltage and keep adapting to the input voltage variations. In such a way, the Sigma converter can achieve high efficiency over a wide voltage range. The picture in the right shows the single-phase Sigma converter demo from CPAS's previous work. The converter achieves 94% maximum efficiency and 420 watt per cubic inch power density. The transient performance wasn't tested. However, the control method developed at CPAS such as V-square control for buck converter and the simplified optimal trajectory control for ARC converter are also applicable to the Sigma converter. And the simulation had showed promising results. This slide gives an update on what we have accomplished so far. At the Virginia Tech side, they had to complete all the magnetic components designed for ABB and had developed the control scheme needed to realize fast transient response control for VR13 requirement. Currently, they are testing on their own prototype, which is a single phase Sigma converter with a lower output power. They had also ordered an iteration board with some design improvement. At ABB side, we had designed and built a two phase Sigma converter hardware and currently the converter is under debugging. We also finished transient response simulation of the converter system and complete the thermal design and simulation. Like many projects, the project progress was impacted by the coronavirus outbreak in the past few months, and we are a little bit behind the project schedule. In the following months, we were focusing on the hardware debugging and testing trying our best to finish the project by the end of September, which is the extended project deadline.
For the pathway to the market, the Embedded Power Product Group has joint intention to productize this technology. ABB has launched a direct 48 to 1 volt PLL converter two years ago, and this project is considered as a development effort for the next generation product. Comparing to the current product, the PLL converter developed in this project is targeting at three times power density improvement and for the first time to comply with Intel VR13 fast transient response requirement. Also, some specific requirements from customer side had been considered in the converter design. Therefore, as long as the converter performance can be proved or verified in this project, there is a good chance that this technology can go into product development as a following project. This concludes the presentation. Thank you all for your attention. Take care.